Welcome everyone to a new episode of Building and Painting. In the last volume, we showed you how to correctly apply the primer and the first base coat of paint. In this new volume, we will be applying some contrast using gradients and recreating the well-known digital camo using vinyl masks. For creating contrast, we have chosen to use gradients in order to differentiate the main volumes of the model. In this case, we have four main volumes the front glasses, the center part, the rear part, and the sides. For the two red, we will apply highlight at the highest point and use gradients to give volume to the other elements. Of course, you can skip completely these steps and go directly to the digital camo application. To apply contrast, we will work with masking tape or masking putties. In this case, we start by masking the sides so we can work with the central of the hole. Now that we have the sides protected, we can see clearly the three main volumes of the central part. We decided to let the central part with the original color, so we will have to mask it. Moving forward, we start applying lights in the front part of the hole using the base coat mix, adding white or light grey and adding more thinner. We need to apply the same light gradient in each of the three angle plates to increase the contrast. Moving to the back part, we have sprayed a shadow over the sides and covered with tape, letting the main rear plate with the hatches and grill discovered. Now we spray again the base coat mixture and we will have help to pop this back plate up. You can see it here, the sides now are darker, but the plate stills in its original color. This is the kind of contrast we are looking for. It's time to paint in a brighter tone the details of the plate using Panzer Putty. Use a paper sheet to protect the base coat.
Once done, we will have the central hull part finished and we will move to the side parts. For the sides and turret, we are going to follow the same principles we have already seen. Identifying volumes and details and applying gradients to help them look more volumetric. This is the final look of the base coat, once the contrasts have been applied. Now it's time to apply the digital camouflage. We will do that using the brand new solid scale vinyl mask. Solid Scale has developed a dedicated set of masks for his model, including masks for the wheels too. We find the masks sorted by their position on the tank, so it's pretty easy to apply them following the profile sheet. The material is flexible but quite resistant, which makes it perfect for applying it on flat surfaces, but also on curved and angled corners. Just make sure to make some pressure to help the mask to adapt the surface. We also mask the rest of the model to avoid any paint outside the shapes. To paint the first layer of the camo, we will be using the acrylic main color sand yellow. We can spray it with a ratio of 80% paint and 20% thinner. If we have applied the contrast on the base coat, we now need to apply the same scheme of lights and shadows on the shapes.
When the paint is dry, we remove the mask tape and the vinyl masks. You can see here the light and shadows applied also on the shapes of the camel. Now it's time to repeat the process again, to paint the green shapes. Before painting, make sure to apply some pressure and check that the masks are flat on the surface, especially if it took some days to get the masking done. And with that, we have completed our brushwork on this model. The next step will be the highlighted, the varnish and the decals. So stay tuned for more and happy modeling!